contribution I've made to the Tapco brand Galil style Saiga handguard has been to cut off the rear tang which normally goes about here. Uh, as you can see there's nothing attaching it to either the barrel or the receiver other than a tension fit a lot around the receiver um, where the front trunnion would be on an AKM uh, and of course the retainer up front. What I'm going to do is uh, a modification of how it's done on the actual Norinco Hunter and possibly on the Galil itself, I'm not exactly sure, is that there is a cross stock bolt that will run from one side of the, one side of the foregrip to the other and that will keep it above the barrel, keeping it up in position and if it's just in front of the receiver it should also keep it from sliding back the way it can right now. Um, as I said, I'm also going to drill and tap the front retainer for set screws. Currently the only thing keeping it on the barrel is a friction fit and the, uh, the, the screw going across there and the notch in the barrel. But those will be next. I don't know how much of those I'll be able to show just because the footage of drilling is, is so hard to get. And since my last video I've gotten some more work done, uh, actually some considerable work done. I've gotten the holes drilled in the Saiga handguard. Uh, on this side it's a quarter inch hole and on the uh, the right side it's a three eighths inch hole. Um, I guess it'll be different depending on where you mount the handguard on, on your particular rifle. Mine are centered about the third rib down, probably about three quarters of an inch from the rear end of the handguard. Uh, the different sizes are because of the different diameters of the hardware. The nut is a one quarter inch diameter and I'm sorry the, the bolt is one quarter inch diameter. The nut, the uh, barrel right here is about three eighths of an inch. So they insert together. Obviously I'll tighten it down more when it's installed uh, and create a nice cross bolt for the handguard. As you can see it's uh, remarkably similar to the handguard that came on the Norco Hunter. Um, it, it, this, uh, this hardware seems a lot more robust. It's about a quarter of an inch compared to just over an eighth of an inch on that, although there are two of them. Uh, this one doesn't need to because it's also got the retainer. Uh, speaking of the retainer, I got the set screws drilled and tapped for 1032 set screws. Uh, those are in place. Uh, while doing that, I also dimpled the barrel that was done by leaving the retainer on the barrel while drilling and just monitoring the depth of the, uh, of the drill bit. And it worked out quite nicely. So you can see I had dimples on both sides. You also see on the top the uh, the notch where I hand filed for the bolt on the the bolt on top of the retainer. Uh, also, my original plan and what's probably the most unsurprising twist in this project uh, was to use a cut piece from the stock as a uh, just as a receiver plug. Um, it's split as you can see, so I won't be using that. Uh, in place I have an ACE modular receiver block uh, that I had to grind down to fit into the more narrow uh, milled receiver opening. Uh, this of course left some big gaps on the side. What I've got in there right now are a couple pieces of what they call olive drab but it's really more of a greenish tan uh, G11 and on the bottom I filled it in with some oh heck JB weld Sorry, the name escaped me for a second there. Now what I'm going to do with that is grind these these ears down. That's just excess, obviously. Um, so it's uh, nice and flush. And then that should be ready to go. I'll, I'll also bolt the G11 to the, the aluminum ACE block. And that will get, actually give me another attachment point uh, for things like slings. Well, I guess things like slings, that's pretty much it. I apologize again for the handheld and crappy resolution camera, but uh, I felt this was important enough to show. Uh, what I'm going to be doing now is drilling the handguard the second time. As you can see, I've already got the first hole drilled here uh, for the cross bolts that I'm going to be using. These I just picked up. I believe Aco, they're sold as furniture hardware. It's black oxide steel. Um, this portion of it up here where the nut is, is about three-eighths of an inch in diameter. This portion down here at the bottom of the bolt is about a quarter inch diameter, which uh, should help you to easily determine what size drills you need to use. 
Here I've got a quarter inch auger bit. I believe I got it from Rockler. I've already got the, uh, the point on the handguard center punched. I actually just pressed in with my uh, carbide scribe until a dent was made. doesn't need to be too precise on the far side. Uh, the barrel on the Norinco Hunter is the same diameter from roughly where the retainer will be to back all the way to the receiver. So it's going to be uh, the same height right in the middle of the third complete rib down. Um, I can't remember how far in from the edge I measured, just as so long as it's the same on both sides, you shouldn't have to worry. Um, as you can see, I've braced the stock down here with a couple pieces of plywood and a wedge of, I think it's basswood, doesn't really matter, just to keep the stock, the two sides of the stock from collapsing in on each other and making the holes less, less square to the outside. For something this lightweight, you probably should clamp it down. Uh, but since it's so light that I'm not too worried about it hitting me, um, and since I'm using a very clean cutting bit, a very small, uh, very easy to drill through material such as nylon, I'm not too worried about it grabbing and starting to spin around like a helicopter. If I were drilling steel using a normal twist bit, I certainly would be clamping it down. Uh, but right now I've got it centered up, just ready to start drilling. Yo! Have a good day at work. This is my sister going to work. All right, you see this hole is clean through. Centered up nicely. Now all I've got to do is drill the one on the opposite side, which I've also uh, sort of center punched. I don't know if you can see it, or how well you can see it. Scribe. Right there. But that will be done with a 3 8 inch bit to match the 3 8 inch hole down on the receiver end of it. There we go. Clean these chips off there. And the holes now match pretty well. I'm going to clean off some of the... Uh, Swarf here, but as you can see, they're very clean holes straight through. Well, let me pull the blocks out. Clean holes straight through. Um, now that's all left is to start reassembling. Finally got my Galil project all together. Uh, just going from front to back, show you what's going on with it. Up front, I have the Yankee Hill uh, Phantom Flash Hider. Uh, it's just been threaded to a 14 by 1 millimeter left hand thread. Uh, you can check out my Saiga threading video uh, for details on how I did that. Uh, up front also I have the uh, ACE uh, front sight block. Uh, just the clamp, clamps onto the gas block here. I use the wider version. I believe it's the 104 CSE according to my crib sheet. Uh, it uses the original front sight post and I guess that's front sight pin or drum. You'll recognize as well the Tapco Saiga Galil style handguard. It's got the two furniture cross bolts all the way across. The retainer, as I said, has been uh, drilled and tapped for some set screws that have been dimpled into the barrel, as well as the groove on top of the, uh, the original cross, cross bolt. Moving back, got the Tech Sights AK200S has replaced the deck cover and the uh, recoil spring guide. Uh, I also have a modification here. I'll do another video on that if there's enough interest, just to make it easier to field strip. Um, I also have modified it by taking off this, the, I don't know what to call it, a blade that was sticking out of the original dust cover that Tech Sites ships with. Uh, down here I have the Ram Technologies uh, Tactical Magazine Catch. Uh, just gives me some more purchase when doing magazine changes. Uh, you'll also notice the Maryland Arms Molot style grip that I've painted OD green. Uh, to match the rest of the furniture. Towards the back, the ACE receiver block that I have modified to fit into the, uh, the sharply cut milled receiver. Then attached to that is the ACE folding mechanism. Uh, model number... I'm not sure what the model number is. I think it's AKFX or FSM. I don't recall. But uh, I've also got the modular stock here that's been painted OD green to match the Molot grip and the 
uh, for, for grip. And on the grip itself, I have done some paracord wrapping just to absorb some of the impact. So far, it's been shooting fairly well, better than most AKs, about four inches at 100 yards, better than most AKs, I should say. Uh, but other than that, I'm just going to do some uh, demonstrations of how it runs. Completely flawless in terms of reliability.